Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be doing some more hardcore career mode. And today we are actually going to be continuing on with this boat right here. Now as you guys can see, it doesn't sit right in the water, but we are going to fix that today. We're also going to add an engine to this and also maybe a livery as well. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie, so what's interesting about this is we are literally going to go ahead and go in the back and we're going to put the engines in the back. Uh, we're also actually going to put the fuel somewhat close to the back as well, just to make sure that we are weighed down at the rear uh, quite a bit. Also, just saying uh, as a side note, maybe, just maybe, we can actually have the floor um, be about this level and our fuel tank can be the whole bottom side, which would be absolutely amazing because reasons. So yeah, if we can take this all the way to the front, just like that, uh, we can have our fuel tank be in the bottom, and that adds all of the weight to the bottom, and honestly, that would be pretty cool. In fact, that would be very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it from here, this way. There we go, excellent. We're then going to box this bit off like so. There we go, excellent as well. And that's all fine. What is in there? Ooh. What is this? There we go. Uh, and then this is actually probably going to be a room that's just off of this, which is pretty cool. So delete all of this. Uh, delete all of this bit. There we go, which is the old floor. And we're going to have a way down right here, which should allow us to have this room be something useful, which uh, is always a pretty good thing, to be honest. So yeah. Anyway, delete all of this. Delete all of that. Delete all of this. We're going to have to have this be somewhat useful, but um, yeah, maybe a ladder down into here would be pretty good. So let's get ourselves a hatch. And we'll go from there. So hatch, yes. Let's put it in here like... Oh, how do I want this to work, actually? Let's build this in here like this real quick. We'll then grab one of these and we'll put it on there like this. And we'll put that there. Excellent. We'll then fill in this little gap right here. Yes. Delete all of these guys. Delete this piece and put this piece like this. There we go. All right. That is actually pretty good. So now we can come downstairs into here. Um, we can build this in down to there. Excellent. We'll probably build this in all the way to here and we'll seal that off like that. Uh, we'll have this bit sealed off like this and I think we can get rid of this, can't we? No, we can't. We can maybe get rid of a few of this though. There we go. Uh, and then I think we'll just seal it off from about here. So fill that in from there, do it down to there, delete these guys because they were an accident and put them across there. So now we just have a little bit of a ledge in here, which is fine. Uh, we'll build that in like this. We'll go ahead and attach this piece onto there like that. And we'll also just put these two in here like this. All right, excellent. Now we just need ladders and then we're good to go. One, uh, two, three, and four. Excellent. We'll get some little pipes in there. And hopefully that'll look pretty good. It will look pretty good. All right, so put this here. Build it up to there. Excellent. That's our way in and out of downstairs. And we can have a bed down there and everything. And that should be pretty amazing. Should be pretty cool anyway. So put this in here like this. Build that in there. Uh, put a step. We're probably going to actually add steps in here. This will be fine. So stairs. Let's go. Oh, I don't have stairs yet. I don't actually have stairs yet. So we can't do that. But uh, build that in there like that. That's fine. We can get up to there. We can get inside there. And we can drive it. Excellent. So let's save this as we've got it so far. Let's take an engine out of our other boat. And we'll go from there. So load up our previous boat, this one. We'll grab our engine and we'll go from there. Hopefully this will work out. So we want this one up to there. We're going to send it all the way to here, including that piece. We're going to grab it on this side because we obviously need these bits too. And that's what we're going to take, just that. So cut it. There we go. Load up our new boat, this one. And we'll have it in the back of here. In fact, we'll probably have two... Or maybe more. Should we have more than two? Maybe three. I, I don't know. Three seems a bit dangerous and a bit too much, but we could totally have it. Let's um build it quite far forward uh, in the grand scheme of things. So about there. It's probably fine. Take this to the side. Yeah, just there. All right, paste it. Actually, no, undo. Press U. Paste it there. There we go. That's much better. Take it to this side. Press U. Paste it there. Excellent. I'm going to build all this in real quick, and then I'll be back with you guys once it's built. Because you guys have already seen this bit, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, so I've actually built it out to the side right here. This is actually the air supply, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and build this in nicely. 
so that hopefully it looks okay. I don't know whether it will, but there you go. So that's going to go there. We're then going to actually attach some straight pipes to here. Uh, we also actually need our exhaust to come out somewhere. Currently, it's actually coming out the bottom right here, but we're going to delete that. And we're going to have it come out of the top next to the air supply. So like this. We're then going to actually angle it forwards like this. And then we're going to angle it backwards so that it goes out the same way. And we're going to delete all of this as well. All right, excellent. So put that in there like this. Excelente. Bring it upwards. And we're going to take it sideways and upwards as we go. So sideways. Uh, and then upwards. And then actually, do we want it to look like this? I'm not sure we do. Um, hmm. All right, we're going to do this instead. We're just going to go up quite a few. So like this, there we go. Excellent. We're going to do it with these guys as well. And we're also then just going to go like this. And yeah, I mean, I think that looks okay. And we're going to leave it somewhat like that. We might even do this on the back. That looks pretty cool, actually. So we're going to leave it like that. That seems fine. Delete these guys. Get ourselves some fluid pots. And then the engine should actually work. So that's pretty good. There you go. Put those there. Looks a bit weird with this bit, actually. Looks very weird with this bit, but I don't know. It's what we've got, so it's what we're going to have to stay with. We're going to delete these guys as we go, and we're going to send that all the way down. There we go. We're going to send it all the way down here as well. And deleting that. There we go. And honestly, I think that's fine. Yeah, so our air is going to come in here. Our exhaust is going to come out of here. And honestly, that should be okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So now, because I deleted the air supply thingy, the air throttle, there we go. We have to do that. And the air throttle's right there as well. And that's a-okay. All right, very good. We now need a key or a starter button or whatever. Uh, and that's going to go in here. So let's get a key if we've got one. If we don't have one, we can just do a toggle uh, a toggle button. And that'll go in there. All right, nice. Yeah. All right, good. So attach this directly onto here. And also here. And also here and here. And that's all perfect. It should work out. Excellent. Uh, what else do we need? So, we need a battery. Uh, we've only got some small ones at the moment. So, we'll actually just whack those in at the back. This is going to create some weight uh, and actually be a pretty good thing. So, we'll add a bunch of those right there. Including maybe one at the front. Just in case we get damaged or, or whatever. Um, so, that's good. We need a way of getting into the rear. And I think we'll just go with one of these. So, we'll put that underneath the window. And that should be pretty good. So, delete this. Uh, oh, this way or that way? I don't know, actually. Maybe this way would be fine. So, we'll delete that like that. We're going to put it on there like this. And that'll be our way into the downstairs down here. Excelente. All right, fill all that in. Get ourselves a ladder and build that in here. There we go. All right, excellent. That's all good. That is all good. Pipes. Let's get some pipes. Uh, we need to be able to get down here just in case anything breaks. So that's why we've got that. But we're going to go here. There we go. And here. There we go. Right. Cool. So now we can actually get down into the boat and fix things. Brilliant. All right. What else do we need? What else do we need need? Well, I think that's it for now. Let's get ourselves a fluid spawner and stuff. Uh, a spawner and a meter. And then we'll go from there. Actually, I haven't unlocked it yet. I haven't actually unlocked it yet. Right. We need a bed. Let's get a bed first. All right, bring it in here. Make it white. That's okay. And we'll put it right there. There we go. So we have a bed now. We're going to go ahead and spawn this in. We're going to get inside. And we're going to go to sleep while we research this. We've almost got it. So we're just going to just gonna go to sleep. Let's go. So we're inside. Go downstairs. Close this up. Into bed. Go to sleep. All right, that was quick. <laughs> that was very quick. Okay, so now we've got fluid management. Uh, if we type in fluid... We've now got a meter, so we can use this. Uh, it's going to go down in here. There we go, so that's going to go there. And we also need the spawner as well, um, which should be here. There it is. So that's going to go here. Excellent. That's all good. We then need to figure out where our um, thingies are going to go, our propellers. Because it might be that our propellers are a bit weird. I think we can run two of these. I, I want to believe we can run two of them. Per Ooh, let's see how this goes. So, they're going to have to go inside, like that, which is pretty weird, but we're going to do it. So, one, two, three, put it there. All right, we're going to do another one. One, two, three, because I think that our engine can run this, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, yeah, we need to figure out where they actually are, though. So, here it is. There we go. Nice. 
get ourselves a pipe. And we're going to have to attach them together, actually. Hang on. Where's the other one? Is it next to it on this side? Yeah, there it is. So we're going to attach those together, and then we're going to attach them to the pipes. Okay, this is fine. So angle this way. Excellent. We're then going to try and angle it upwards using one of these. Oh, God. Um, which I can't quite work out, but I think that's the right way of doing things. Then we're going to get a straight pipe, bring it this way. And then we're going to get a gearbox, which is going to go directly under here, facing towards the engine. And then we're going to send it back, and hopefully everything will connect together and be good. We don't actually have a generator on this one, though. But honestly, I think that's probably fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. It's all sealed together. Excellent. And honestly, I think I'm pretty happy with this. So let's put this to 3 to 1. Same with this one. 3 to 1. There we go. Excellent. And honestly, I think that'll work. Yeah. Pretty good. Okie dokie. So I've just connected up the reverse button, which is this one right here. We're actually going to go ahead and connect these guys to these guys to this guy and this guy and then these guys up here. There we go. And then these guys are going to connect back to this one, which is then going to connect onto here. And also there, that's fine. And then this is going to go backwards from here, onto there, onto here, onto here, onto here. And then this is going to go across, and it's going to go to there, there, and there. And then this is going to go upwards, onto here, onto there, and there. And then this is going to go forwards from here, onto there. And that is going to be brilliant. Yes. All right, I think that's all going to work. We also need a rudder. So let's go ahead and grab a rudder and whack that on straight away. Uh, it's actually going to be red. Uh, it's probably going to be like brown red, so that's okay. Uh, and that actually needs to be dug into it as well. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So it's actually going to have to be empty right here. So we can have rudders. So we can have rudders right there. That's pretty insane. But there you go. Uh, right, okay, good. So now what I'm going to do is the water line, which should be around here. There we go. That's actually probably a little bit low, to be honest. Let's make it a little bit higher. There we go. So it's going to go there. We're going to drag this all the way around. Wow, okay. We're going to have to do it on the other side because I wasn't mirroring for some reason. But there we go. Whee! There we go. Excellent. Uh, paint this one as well. Paint those two and send it. There we go. And then all the way around the bottom at the back too. Seal that way off. There we go. Right, so go to the red that we've got. We're going to jug the entire bottom of this boat this color because honestly, I think it's the best thing for it. I'm not going to lie. I think it is probably the best thing for it. All right, paint all of that in there, paint these two, paint this bit, and there we go, we're good. All right, jug these bits in. There we go, excellent. And the bottom as well, woo, nice. All right, so that is looking pretty good. Uh, honestly, I think the color scheme isn't going to be white like we did on a previous build. We're actually going to try and make a different color. Red is obviously my color. So maybe we make it that, oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's always very red. My my red is very red. But I think we can go with it, and I think we'll run with it. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, I think we can run with this. We're going to do this bit this color, though. Uh, Pretty much all the way up. There we go. All the way across the top. And all of this. There we go. All of that's going to be this color. And all of this is going to be that color. And even more. So this is going to be that color. Uh, This is going to be that color. This is going to be that color. This is going to be that color. And all of this is going to be that color too. There we go. So, yeah. There's a lot going on here, but it's fine. So, paint all that like so. Paint all this like so. And that bit as well. And honestly, I think this bit's going to be red. So, actually, probably not. It's going to be this color. There we go. That works. It totally works. That's fine. So, we're going to paint that like that. We're going to drag this bit in. Nice. And I'm happy with that. Drag this bit, this bit, and all of that. Wait, oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Uh, green is going to be our deck color for now. There we go. I love green as a deck color. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so there we go. We got that. And we're going to make this one gray. There we go. The door's going to be gray on the floor. That looks... That looks fine. I actually think that looks fine. Um, we... Whoa. Okay, so uh, that was random. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and paint this bit white, if we can. So, white round there. There we go. Excellent. All of this is going to be then white. And, in fact, you can probably jug it. There we go. Jug it. There we go. So, that's awesome. I think that works, to be honest. Uh, we might change the color of the main boat to be, bl like, blue-ish. Although, actually, 
Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I like it the way it is. So we're going to leave it somewhat the way it is. We're going to drag that in. We're going to drag this in. We're going to drag that in. And maybe even this as well. And I don't know. I think that's probably good enough, to be honest. So we'll probably leave it somewhat like this. I think that's cool. We now need to actually give the electricity to these guys. Currently didn't have any. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and connect these guys up to here so we can actually steer A and D. And then we're going to connect W and S to everything else. And hopefully, hopefully, that will work. I'm sure it will, but if it doesn't, I don't know, we can fix things. That's fine. So W and S to here, to there, to there. Oh, no, not there. Oh, whoops. To there, uh, to there, and there, and then that's it. All right, cool. But now we're missing something from this box. RPS. There we go. All right, good. So now we've done it. Hopefully this thing will start. And hopefully it'll move. Probably the worst weather for it, but let's try. All right, here we go. Start the engine. Engine's on. It's struggling. Okay, right. It's very... <laughs> Very much struggling with this, so we're actually going to go ahead and lower this to 2 to 1, uh, and hopefully that'll work instead. I'm sure it will, but I don't actually know, so let's see. Let's see. Alright, if we're ready to try it, let's go ahead and do this, and throttle up. Let's go. Oh. Right, it started. And we are moving. However, there does appear to be a few problems with it. Okay, how about we go with just one propeller instead? Because I think that might be the main issue here. So we're going to delete... Oh, how are we going to do this? Delete that, delete this, delete this and this. And then that just needs to be an angle. So we get a pipe and we do that. So this, upwards. There we go. And we'll seal all this off like this. There we go. That's all fine. There we go. It's all... It's all fine. It's all done. So now, let's turn this back to 3 to 1. There we go. This back to 3 to 1. This to reverse, this to reverse, and we can go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay. Please say it works. Please say it works. Ready? Go. All right. Engine's on. There's something wrong with my engine. What is it? What's it not getting? What is it not getting? See, it's, it should be getting everything. It's got exhaust going out. It's got... A cooler, it's got air, it's got everything that it needs. But has it? Is the question. Does it actually have everything it needs? Oh, I don't know. So, that, yep. Throttle input. Hey, that's why it's not working. Okay, so throttle input is actually going to be up and down. And throttle input's going to be up and down. Okay, let's put that on sticky. And let's go. Oh, that means that we could actually have the four propellers. We might go back to that. We might revert back to that. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, in we get. Go. Okay, so far it feels rubbish. I don't know why it's so bad. The engines are just as good as they were the other day, so... Oh, no, wait, actually, hang on. It's because I haven't done this. Hey, there we go. Okay, good. So now it actually works out quite nicely. The boat seems to drive quite nicely. That's excellent. Yeah, guys, we've done it. We've actually done it. That's amazing. Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah, right. I'm going to return back to the base a little bit, and we're going to modify it a little bit more. Let's do it. All right, so uh, we're now inside the uh, the build zone. We're going to go ahead and actually add a white stripe to the front. We're going to do it on both sides, clearly, and we're going to do a little white stripe like this because, honestly, that's a pretty good way of adding a little bit of detail, and to be fair, that actually looks pretty good. We're going to add some stuff to the top of here as well. I don't know whether we should do that straight away or not. Probably not straight away, but honestly, we might as well. So let's do that across there. Uh, we'll then actually delete this piece. There we go. Excellent. Eh? We're going to fill this in like so. And we're going to attach this guy onto the back of there like so. And I think we'll build this up in a way that it looks nice. So we'll actually send this from here upwards. Only like that. There we go. And then we'll do it here as well. Ugh. 
like this. There we go. And honestly, I think we can't really do too much more than that, but that's fine. So we'll attach these guys to each other. And then we'll send this out sideways. Kind of like this. There we go. And like this. There we go. No, actually, just like that. Um, I think that'll be fine, to be honest. I think that will actually be fine. So we're going to put that there. We're going to delete this guy. We're going to get ourselves a light. And we'll put it right there. This will be our navigation lights. We'll do that soon. That'll be fine. We're going to delete these guys. And we're going to attach these guys on. And we're going to get some pipes. And we'll attach those together. So we're going to do this. And also this. There we go. So that's all attached together very nicely. We're then going to do this as well. And that's all seems fine. That's all seems fine. All right, very good. Uh, I think then we're actually just going to go ahead and put this guy on. Like this. There we go. And we're going to do this. There we go. And then we're going to do this. There we go. All right, excellent. That looks really weird, actually. Looks very, very strange. But we're going to keep it for now. Uh, and then in the future, we might change it to something else. In fact, let's delete this piece and put that there. And yeah, I feel like we do need something else going on here. Otherwise, it might look very weird. But that's currently what we've got. And that's what we're going to have to stay with. So that's fine. Uh, at the moment, though, what we will do is we'll grab these. We'll put that in there like that. There we go. There and there. Get ourselves a spotlight and we'll put it right in the middle. Bam. There we go. Excellent. That actually doesn't look too, too bad. I like it. So we're going to leave it pretty much like this, except the fuel tank is going to be made smaller uh, because I feel, feel like it should be made a little bit smaller. So we're going to go from here all the way across. Uh, and that's fine. There we go. And the flooring in here can stay that color. That's fine. So spawn this in. Let's get inside. Let's try and move it and see what it does. In fact, actually, let's add that thingamabobby back in. So delete this, this, and this. All right, excellent. Delete that as well. Get ourselves one of these and whack that in like that. There we go. Good. Delete this piece. Get the pipes and put that in. And hopefully, hopefully, this will look pretty good. So how do we want it? Like that, but then like this. There we go. Good. So that's going to come this way. We're going to angle this one into it. There we go. And push that one that way. And voila. We have ourselves four propellers. Is it going to work, though, is the question. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Right, here we go. Throttle it up. Engine's on. Let's go. Um... I don't know how fuel efficient it is with two propellers as opposed to uh, just one, but I think that's all good. If we change this to two to one instead of three to one, I don't know whether that's any better because it might be a little bit better. So let's try. Here we go. Not that I have a speedo yet. We do need a speedo. But let's try this. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, I think that's much better. So we'll actually leave it like that. And I think that's going to be fine. So this is going to be our new starter boat. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, we'll obviously add things to it in the future, like winches and stuff like that. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.